Victoria, you can switch it to scene one if you want. This is scene two. Yeah. The little birds are fantastic. The little <laughs> hummingbirds. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's almost almost grown up, almost grown up and recently tried to you know spread the wings and the, but the the flying wing, the big the, the biggest wing is still growing. So it, it's kind of uh, Air there <laughs> cannot <laughs> powerfully push. <laughs> is, is this in your yard? Yes. Yeah. Wow. It's just it's the it's the the fifth time, the fifth the time oh. we got the hummingbird, and wow. uh, this time is kind of a dramatic, because the mama. Um, build the nest right above the fruits, um, the uh, passion fruit, the fruit, the ball, the ball there, and the, you know, the bow just above like that. I think I have it's to always restart. a swing there on the vine. <laughs> I have to restart. Oh, yes, it's frozen. Oh, it's frozen? I'll be back in a minute. Okay, now you're fine. All right. Anyway, and it's just under my patio and Southern California, the passion fruits, the vine, the plants of, um, in the winter um, is green. It's green. Mm. So my patio, and this is you know, you know, our backyard and I have very small backyard. I go in and out every day, like 20 times. And uh, her nest is about just one meter, one meter, one and a half meters from my backyard door. <laughs> wow. Very, very close because I think we put the we put the um, fiddler in that area, and she decided that that's the safe place, you know. And uh, last week, actually twice, uh, two weeks two weeks ago, um, we got big wind days, and it's really kind of challenging. Um, anyway, lots of <laughs> stories. Um, the new baby, two of them, one is from the last day of the uh, lunar year, uh, New Year's Eve. Um, the second baby is from uh, New Year's Day for the um, tiger year, lunar year. 
So um, there is the platform and the birds watching uh, membership. Uh, they vote and uh, give them name, some things like that. Um, but we we just give them uh, name it. Uh, we call we call them a Chinese name. We because meet the time, we call that uh, like a, a, a little ox and the big head of a, a tiger, <laughs> you know, for the two of them. <laughs> anyway, um, so it, it's about flying, depends on, I mean, uh, in a few days. That's why <laughs> Henry said, oh, I want to see, put this at background today. <laughs> However, okay, let's do our um, work <laughs> and uh, you can watch it. It's on, on YouTube and uh, 24 hours, the, the link <laughs> there. And uh, yeah, later I'll put it in the classroom probably because now it's become a uh, better and better view and uh, they are a star, <laughs> they are first star. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. Um, Henry, where's my ink stone? Uh. Okay, first, um, before I, uh, Forget. I want to um, explain more on the uh, homework uh, questions, and uh, on some time, I, I always feel very hard to um, use my English to explain uh, things perfect for the, you know, in the classroom, use a couple of um, sentence to explain that. And um, Jeanette, um, you came um, very late in our class and you are uh, doing good and making progress, I can tell. And uh, um, for the stroke, I think, um, we, we call it, it's, uh, it's good, it's uh, correct, um, but we call it like the um, short, um, short age uh, practice. And, uh, you know, from stroke, like, uh, you got this, I'm glad, um, like for uh, standard style, and uh, you're supposed to do more press, and the lift and the at end the press, you know, this kind of things for the standard style uh, in the Chinese calligraphy. Yeah, uh, look at look at that, and you will understand all of these are standard style. So um, thinking of uh, this is a brush, you know, soft brush. It's not a stick. So do some press and the lift, you know, because other students. They are get used to uh, use this way to do um, standard style, right? Press and the lift, press and the lift. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and for um, uh, Meridian, I think uh, I saw your words yesterday. Uh, um, the number I put there is it two or three? Two and the three I put there, you understand. But um, the number one, probably I need to um, explain more. What's that for? Right? What's the, uh, what's, the, what? no, I cannot use my English to explain very well. Um, for the, um, the character of, uh, you know, uh, I is to, uh, or are a, uh, you know, the zhe. The standard style is like that, right? And also um, Emily's standard style. Emily, you write the strokes perfectly, but you know some uh, some things probably like 
aesthetic things in calligraphy, uh, sometimes I explained because you didn't get a chance to learn for the whole characters for the image thing, right? Um, this here, okay, do not start it too high here. From here, um, and uh, the part of the sun here, right? Put underneath. When you put this, try to put in the, you know, the whole character centered. Uh, where is the centered, you know, um, like here, sometimes consider of this stroke, you know, the most, the dense, most dense part, right? So put it here and you do not put it too low to make too spacey here. And I said, you can put this part a little bit uh, taller, higher, right? I said, not this character as calligraphy, not the perf not the perfect, like the ruler made things like that. That's why I said, not the perfect, not the perfect square, not the perfect rectangular, right? Not like that, it's like that kind of, so, See what I'm doing? You check the uh, uh, handout, the sample. It's like, a, so start here, a little bit high. See that? A little bit high. And then a little bit high, up and down. You know, in the choreography, a little bit like that. Yeah. Um, why we are doing that? because um, less space here, and this is not very tall start, starts here. That's this way, make um, this, we say like center palace, center, um, center part of the characters, not very loose, not very loose. Otherwise, see this stroke reach too far, and this part, the sum part too low, make very loose in the center part, center part, um, not very beautiful. <laughs> the birds is feeding. <laughs> and the left. Uh, it is said we learned from the uh, scientific book. This time, this period of time, um, uh, the mom is very diligent to work to get a little, 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 little insects or some things uh, to, to feed baby because um, the new baby needs lots of protein, lots of protein to grow up, yeah. Um, normal time for hummingbirds in our fiddler, we use, um, uh, no, they just eat uh, the, um, not the seeds for other, uh, like other birds. They eat um, just uh, um, uh, sweet water, like sugar and the water. Mm -hmm. I, I, made, I made it and uh, uh, Henry made it. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is that. And it become the um, um, Mary dance, um, I said uh, for the number one, the, the problem for that. When it's become the, uh, running style, cursive style. Um, the upper part is like that, right? Like that. And then here, 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 Mary Dan mm -hmm. is here. I said, you do a little bit, a little bit hard, hard fold, or actually lots of people do a little bit across because indicated these things. Even the lower part, very small, so you do that, that kind of things. So this part can be do like that. You know, something like that. You need some, you know, some hard, hard fold turning here, instead of what, you do not do too, mm. Too soft here. Yeah, you, you want some something something there, even a little bit across. That's what I try to talk, try to um, yeah, explain. But 
I think my English is not enough. So not too soft this way, yeah. Try to make something here, yeah. here. And the, uh, 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 Jeanette, for you, I said the bottom things, because bottom things, even very simple, right? Simple things, but actually it stands for, you know, something like that. And uh, uh, the size cannot be too small, almost ignore it, cannot do that because it's like the, um, like a base stone underneath. Uh, if it's too small, like a little tail, uh, very too weak. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Okay, I think that's the, about the uh, question at the homework. I, uh, you know, sometimes I can write, cannot write very clear, I said. Um, so I need to uh, talk about in front of you in the uh, next class. Okay, let's start today's um, work. The birds, um, we learn the characters uh, before, I think uh, very close to the island. Um, we just review it very quick. Uh, Jeanette, uh, were you in class when we learned bird, the characters, you remember? No, not yet? Yes. No, I don't know. Uh, Crane, yes, but I, I don't know about bird. Oh, good memory. You remember crane. Yeah, I think just to, just to start uh, crane, right? Yeah. Good, good, good memory. Very good. Okay. I cannot move. Oh, okay. Okay, standard size. Um, let's review it. Um, actually, this is uh, later, right? Um, yeah. Slant. Yeah. And then the, 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 bo the box. Um, Emily, you see the same principle work here on the box in the choreography writing. See the vertical here, right? And uh, see what I'm talking about is not a start perfect to start here like a wood make box is come a little bit higher, you know, and a, a little bit up and down. You understand what I'm talking about? The, for the box of, we talk about the sun for the calligraphy writing, same principle here for those two. Yeah, look at the sample. Uh, not perfect, you know, not perfect like that. It's a little bit like that, higher. Understand me? Okay. And uh, two small horizontal. One big horizontal. And the hunchback thing. Like a bird's body part, right? Hook. And then four dots. Okay, that's the... Um, Ah, cannot scroll it. Okay. I do not know, not frozen, but for the PDF here, I cannot scroll it. Oh, I got. Just so. hmm. Oh, probably. Oh, okay. Uh, walking style. Let me let me stop the other webcam so you, maybe you can do better. Okay. Uh, same order, same things, just more uh, feel free. You know, um, Emily, see that even more, um, I mean, not together, 
those strokes not just connected together, even higher. That and that. You know, something like that. And uh, one, two, three. And the four dots become very connected. It's like the one stroke for horizontal, right? But with some press and some press, something like that. Okay, and then... Uh, Uh, okay, this um, running style, grass style, <laughs> um, messy. Um, do this first, right? And then like that and back. And uh, clerical actually, was the first one, right? Uh, suppose um, it's more like the image to uh, a problem of a scroll. It. Okay. Um, more like a verse. See some hair on the top, and then uh, in a the head part, head part, or connected with the. Um, body part. See, this box is not uh, perfect from here, right? It's here. Carving. My death stroke is too sharp, right? But the sample one for this person's writing is sharp. <laughs> Should go slow. Who's tail flying here? It's like the birds, um, you know, some feather wing or some things. And underneath, one stroke and one stroke. And the, those four are really like the um, birth tail, right? Look at the, uh, I put the, put the picture at the um, hummingbird's picture in, in our handout, which says center one and the uh, left side, right, right side. So, but we do is from <laughs> left hand side to start. Still carving mood. Slowly, yeah. Okay, that's bird we learned. We just review it. Right. Okay. Standard writing uh, for uh, yu. Um, this yu um, literally is um, language, but also um, can be the um, like a, uh, spoken, I mean, written language for uh, to give speech or to talk, to talk, standard style first. Uh, this radical on the left-hand side I'm writing is the radical for to speak, to speak. And on the right hand side, actually, uh, literally, is um, the classic Chinese in language. This is um, me, I. So I speak. There are some characters by uh, the individual here, right? 
um, I said this is the in Chinese characters. This is number five. The characters for five, Wu, and uh, anybody know this? Remember this? What's the character for that? Mouth. 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 Great. So, I don't have do not have to write it right. Mouth looks like mouth, <laughs> but square because Chinese <coughs> characters are all um, as they become characters, the squarish. Yeah, give me. <laughs> okay, this is very uh, easy to tell. Walk, walking. The, just do it a little bit faster. You know, you can see all that or without seal in just some things there. And this become one stroke and connect with the bottom one. You know, when you do um, two mouths together, you try to a little bit different, right? And always the radical part a little bit smaller and the right hand part uh, a little bit bigger. Oh, um, this is the grass style, running style, cursive. Okay, radical part simply become like the, the press in vertical, big. And this is just to show the tendency to go other way, right? This way, how to do this five, to do this like a Z, letter Z. And then tendency to do from here, Oh, clerical style, actually this first, right? Uh, doesn't change that much, you know, until here. So, but carve it. You know, this um, one, um, Thing about the uh, clerical style, about the carving. For the vertical, sometimes a little bit try to show the, um, like on the hard surface, on the stone bronze, you know, imperfectness, do like that. <laughs> oh, how hard I'm carving. You know, my knife is going to just slide to that. And uh, the harder, uh, the serious I'm using my knife to do, and it become like that. See, this is not on paper, right? It's under a stone. <laughs> so people actually on purpose to do that. especially in the vertical, you know, do a little bit like that. But now easy to tell, this is not for uh, things on paper. Oh, this shows some art and it shows some things indicated on the hard uh, surface for that. Okay, now um, let's look at the, the births. Um, the births, I um, do some try to explain and uh, the, um, to describe uh, the special um, uh, things for the hummingbird, because we when we draw, when we draw or to paint the birds, um, 
we need to know um, at first the the contour shape shape need to be correct, right? So I put some pictures there, some pictures there, um, and also the. color um, and also, but from picture, from picture to the Chinese painting, um, we needed to kind of, uh, you know, we, do, we don't, do not do that much uh, things like the mimic things, mimic things. The hardest uh, part is to, um, you know, concise. then becomes some strokes. Uh, you understand what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm talking about? So not for like, a, uh, yeah, for to mimic everything, mimic everything, you know, for the Chinese painting, the hardest part is this. You know, you need to figure out how to do for like how many strokes, right? About 10 strokes or, you know, sometimes even to four to five strokes to, you know, very um, brave, brave strokes, concise, concise strokes to become the painting. Okay, as we learned um, births um, um, before, you know, for, what's that? Uh, sparrow and also for crane, right? We talk about the two, um, two eggs, right? Two eggs, one for head and the one for body. Um, body actually very, um, so uh, each, each birds are a little bit different for color or for the shape and for their um, feather, you know, tail or beak. And for this, um, I will do, um, yeah, we do, we learn by doing, okay. Oh, I want to show you. <laughs> One of my, see this bird. <laughs> this is uh, this is the gift when I uh, work in the Washington State. Washington State. Um, um, uh, one of my uh, colleague, uh, Daniel, he is the um, he made this and gave it to me. And uh, he uh, he know I I I I was moving to California. And uh, he said, um, "This, uh, yeah, uh, um, this bird, this bird is immigrant bird, and uh, uh, only summer. What did what did say the the word? Uh -huh. um, only summer in the Washington State, but California, you will get all year round, <laughs> and uh, do this um, uh, the fine arts." He see, as I said, how many strokes, right? You need to figure out some strokes for uh, the wing, right? Not very detailed, but need the shape correct and uh, some block and the belly and the throat, you know, beak, eye, tail. Okay. Um, I will do, so every person do the uh, order a little bit different. Uh, see the handout there? First one is the 
I got all of them from the um, online. Um, I saw the real birds a lot, of course, in my backyard. We have, you know, Henry put, we have, I think, eight, nine uh, feeders for hummingbirds. So we always got like more than 10, 20 all year round, <laughs> um, especially summertime. So um, hummingbirds, um, did you know the hummingbirds was considered um, the fast, I mean, compared with how big the size of, uh, of the bird's body, the size. Hummingbirds is the most, it's the fastest flyer. So when it flying, the wing, the wing cannot really see the detail very well. It's like a bee. It's like, you know, bumblebee, the, the bee. It's like a bee fly. <laughs> so anyway, we need to know that. So even the good camera or some things took the picture there, but we, when we do painting, we do not do very, very detailed, very clear as not kind of true. We do something in between. But I want to see the first picture. I want you to see, you know, to understand that the structure clear that first, right? Then when we can do the meaning right, but where is the meaning? <laughs> okay, um, I will use some, like the watercolor. I will do the um, eye first. The eye is almost very dark, very dark, uh, like a dark gray or dark, um, dark gray or dark, uh, brown or something purple, something like that. So, um, I will save uh, like the all like oval, oval, a little bit oval shape, but lost and found not very stiff, you know, the area for that, for that, and uh, put the things a uh, pupil in, uh, I mean, in, inside later. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's color. And also do the beak, do the beak. As I said, uh, hummingbirds beak long and uh, kind of I do single stroke, but like uh, with, I said, the technique of uh, we practiced uh, like a pine needle, pine needle stroke. So your, your arm carving mood, some kind of this eye and a little bit underneath of the eye. I, I do one stroke. Yeah, if you do uh, like a two strokes, it need to be very, very narrow, okay. Um, and uh, the eye is kind of pupil kind of round, but save a little bit white, you know. like that. And then I do the green um, top of bird's head. You can try. Yeah, that's about about a little bit of yellowish. Um, the arc of a hummingbird's um, head, I mean, not very arcing. A little bit flat. You know, some people said it's for faster, um, the streaming line for faster flying, right? For faster flying, <laughs> easier to fly. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
And uh, this way to a little bit connect with the wing and humbers ne the neck a little bit straight. Yeah, and then become the wing. You know, this wing, I put a little bit at that. And uh, here, the body part, a little bit like that, right? And then later wing there. And the, the back, a little, a little bit darker for the green. Um, my brush become a little bit drier and I think it's good for uh, do some things like I do some dot things indicated, you know, the feathered things uh, on the back, right? Hummingbird is very small, you know, totally average weight for the uh, grown up is just three grams. Can you imagine? Um, and her egg is like the Tic Tac, you know, the candy Tic Tac. Mm -hmm. Okay, now is the back. And for the, um, the tail, um, I use like a kind of the, you know, for the, in Chinese painting, for the beak, eye and the tail normally use black, you know. The tail um, use some um, you see the photo, real photo for the uh, hummingbird's tail. Very interesting. Not very long, actually. Something like that. And, uh, you know, for um, the tail, uh, when, you know, sometimes it's like the, um, the, continue with the body part, right? And the, the tail is like the continue, is to like the triangle this way, right? This way, tail. Um, and sometimes when it's flying, the tri the triangle is oh is open, is the tail is opened. It's like that, it's like this way. You understand what I'm talking about? This is the the, the body part. Okay, and sometimes it's in between. And as I said, um, there is kind of the um, common thing for the long beak bird with short tail. <laughs> and for the long tail birds with very, very short beaks. <laughs> so hummingbird actually tail, on this, this, the sample one, that's the drawing, right? I think the tail a little bit, a little bit too long. Yeah, look at the real picture. So, and also the black one, put some, you know, some, some, some green, some green things here. I just, just put a little very shade, that's good enough. Okay, now I'm doing the wing. How do I do the wing? Uh, use my, the, the, the green brush, right? The, the body part, the body part, the root part, I put some, I put some gray first or light ink, light ink. Gray, you know, we talk about it's like a bee. When it uh, flying very fast in the air, you can only see some gray, some silver color, okay? 
And then, so basically, remember, the bottom part and the belly part of my bristle is gray. And then the tip, I put a little bit like the green, same thing as I do before for the, the wing part. And then I do the big press, use my side brush, slant brush, slant brush. As we do, remember we do the um, uh, golden fish, golden fish, the tail, the big tail, you know, side brush and just a pull, pull. But your, um, your tip of tip of your brush, and then look at the sample. So do this, start here, and push, pull, 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 pull. Look at the tip of my brush. And uh, gradually lift. Do you see what I did? Yes. <laughs> so, and that you do not, you know, a little bit, ah, the birds is <laughs> on and off in my bed. <laughs> anyway, this time, okay, we are painting. <laughs> uh, and then um, do another one. Another one is a pair of that, but do not do very um, exactly parallel. Remember, do not do the parallel Yeah. And think of, of some things really, and with some angle, makes sense, right? Okay, again. So the other one start here and not parallel. Okay, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Not parallel, not parallel. Okay, do this way, this way, this way. A little bit shorter. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, I will let it a little bit drier and I can do a, a, some, some things work on that. Okay, now I use the, um, the red things to do the throat and some things that, that. Um, the throat, uh, either orange, sometimes, you know, a little bit different. Look at, look at the mama, orange, raw orange, right? Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes, you know, the hummingbirds is a different sunshine, different uh, lights, turns a little bit like a, ma you know, like a ma 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 metallic, metallic some color, um, either uh, magenta or orange, you know, and sometimes, sometimes a change. And uh, on the shade, you, you look, didn't look any color and uh, totally black. Mm -hmm. And uh, they call it, I learned the new word, what's that? Um, Eerie, eerie, eerie dense scent, <laughs> the color. I cannot see the word, uh, pronounce it. Okay, so some, we do some very shady, right? And simple things um, and concise, brave things. Okay, um, the throat for the hummingbird. Try, ooh. Okay, here, right. Okay, some triangle things. And then do some uh, um, gray things, uh, gray and green things uh, for his like, belly, right? A little bit too dark, I think. Some layers. And uh, for the um, for his for the head um, head and uh, we talk about the shape is like an egg shape, right? Um, and uh, this like the pine noodle, like the bee uh, mouth, is not like 
regular um, birth uh, beak. But here, a little bit connection, um, professionally they call it uh, something like the, you know, kiss. And also you can make some, a little bit of, you know, dark and brown red, you know, for in different layer, the red for the connection for this part, right? And look at the uh, sample. So that is some simple like, a kiss to this direction. And uh, also you can do some, a little bit of, you know, layering things for, for some variegate, variegated things, you know, actually for the throat, for the rat. <laughs> what I'm doing like the strawberry. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, that's on hummingbird's uh, uh, throat. Um, yeah, actually here a little bit of smearing. I don't want, do not want that. I can stop it. Um, anyway, um, for the foot, use a little bit of brown or see very, very small. Um, you can is brown or the dark color for the for the black. Very, very small. Okay. Thinking about the proportion. Very small. Yeah. Something there. That's it. Very small. And uh, for the uh, 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 wing, for the wing, um, you know what? I can use very um The gray, very light gray to do what? Look at, do some, not very detailed, not even do some, this things. Not very even, you know, a little bit, not very even. Something like that. You know, some just this, this, this curve and some just a line. Do not do each very, very defined, very, very defined. Um, in the real things, you cannot see that clear. And the trust, trust me, if you do each one very defined, it won't turn out very beautiful. You can try. Okay, then I think about the about the bird in our class um, for the uh, xie, 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 xie yi style, meaning right style. Uh, freehand style, that's about. Uh, also, you can do a little bit, you know, my brush now is a little bit gray and you can, you can touch a little bit of different tone of the, uh, I mean, the green, try the color, do a little bit of variegate things um, on the head, do like a dot, dot things on the head. Like I said, the strawberry things on the throat, you know, a little bit of things. And I'm back. And it shows a little bit of uh, layering things, right? Um, and also, I think the, the, wind, the wind, wind part, if you want to do more. Anyway, I want to do some things a little bit different. So only on the head and the, uh, the back. Um, actually, you know what? Um, I don't have very small brush. 
you know, hummingbird, um, I should be very careful. Uh, if you have the very liner brush, it would be good. Hummingbird um, had a light, uh, the light ash, <laughs> the little, you can put a little line around the eye. <laughs> It's very beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, that's my way to do hummingbird. Um, unfortunately, um, in Chinese painting in China, we do not have the hummingbird. We do not have hummingbird. So um, classic Chinese painting, uh, we have the category for uh, flower and the birds painting, very common for lots of uh, uh, com uh, birds, but there is no sample, um, no classical uh, artist they did uh, on hummingbirds. But I think hummingbird is very beautiful and based on the uh, birds, um, like principle and the rules to do birds, like two eggs and the big uh, stroke, you know, a little bit different. We can use that, the knowledge transferable on hummingbirds and hummingbirds is common in this country and my area. I, I really want to do it. So um, that's what I do on Xie Yi style of a hummingbird. And uh, I will save characters and uh, put some, you know, very shady, simple uh, flowers or even some birds, na na bird, bird, birds nests here, very simple or two eggs or little ones here. And uh, we have very common phrase for um, uh, 鸟语花香, um, birds singing or birds talking and the flower uh, fragrance um, for the term for uh, spring, nice spring is coming. You know, and also I think it's for the title for um, natural, natural spring um, environment. And, uh, you know, in Chinese we say, um, what's, what do we call the poetic painting or some uh, title for the painting? We say that the lower, the lowest way to name it is directly say, if we say bird, <laughs> this is the, you know, uh, or say, um, of course, uh, sometimes we say orchid, uh, we say uh, uh, orchid, right? <laughs> and so uh, it's instead, that's why we used to say the, uh, the king of the fragrance, you know, <laughs> like a make a turn to say that. And this, we are not going, just going to do uh, directly say the bird or Hummingbird, you know, try to make some, you know, un untitled, uh, let's say, uh, flower and birds, you know, say, and more than flower and birds, okay, birds is talking, oh, it's flying, right, and the uh, uh, flower is fragrant, so how nice, right, right, very nice, okay, so I'm glad, I'm glad I, um, um I did, uh, some research and on how to do very fast and xie yi to hummingbird. And, you know, um, as I uh, write in the handout in the language, um, you need to check, you need to check. See, at the same length uh, for the wing, you know, for the wing size and to the, the length and to the, this, the tail, to the tail about the same. And you can do a little bit even emphasis on the wing a little bit you know, longer with no problem, with no problem. But hummingbird's tail is not that long, not that long. And the, the beak is long, yes, yes, yes. And the, um, for the very, I think the hardest part is to um, concise, right? To concise things. Do I say from very brief strokes, do I say the different part? different part of the bird, mm, yes, I say the wing, uh, flying wing like a bead, not very clear, but yes, there, it's there, the contour line is there, B and the, the back and the, the things. So you need to check every, everything. Uh, 
Okay, and also um, this is my way, and also you can figure out you know how to from the real picture. That's the hardest part, you know. Later you can do uh, yourself, yourself, do yourself mm -hmm. uh, based on how do we do beak, you know, how do we do darkest place beak and the tail. Okay, and you will see the birds correct. Otherwise, you try if you do very colorful things here and uh, not. Not beautiful, <laughs> not beautiful. Uh, uh, and uh, you, you can you can do your way. You can do your way to figure out the way. And the last time, I think um, uh, Emily did some um, on the sparrow or some what's bird I forgot that play, that, that time uh, some Indian style uh, study and figure out the. Um, strokes yeah right for the birds and Kathy showed me uh her way to do birds very um simple concise you know couple of strokes to do um you can yeah uh uh, uh create your way to figure out uh what's for coming bird you know uh, but need to be uh brave need to be brave not use like you know very mimic mimic in this style uh-huh uh, for the calligraphy style. Okay, um, I think that's, yeah, that's how much um, I want to share um, in my um, uh, calligraphy class. And the next time we, con uh, we uh, continue to do some uh, flower and uh, a little bit of burst that here, you know, somewhere, uh, I don't know, and to put the uh, character on that. Uh, Niao Yu Hua Xiang, uh, birds flying, uh, birds talking, uh, flower um, uh, fragrant. And for this topic, uh, you know, save the, save the idea and uh, save the characters. You can name everything, your local birds. You figure out a way how many strokes to do that, keep the contour shape correct, you know, <laughs> and uh, name it with any flower you like you know, and any birds, you know, to do the combination for that, you know, for any uh, birds, you, you will use the same words, same phrase uh, for doing that. Uh, I'm going to do next time a real, real um, thing, I think is the uh, freesia. You know the freesia? F-R-E-E-S-I-A, uh, freesia? Uh, in, that's a real one in my in my garden and uh, match the hummingbirds um, fledging season right now and it's you know it's very fragrant match the phrase of that <laughs> of late of course um, any kind of a birds uh, match the, for example rose we can do later right for other birds for rose uh -huh, uh, do uh, flower fragrant <laughs> the birds talking you know that's very pleasant uh, things you want to uh, see the very picture, you know, picture like that, the phrase. Okay, um, happy practicing, happy painting, and uh, see you next class. We'll finish the uh, painting. Thank you. Any question, let me know. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you. Uh, Hi. Uh, if you were in the uh, Library class will do the hummingbird nest next uh, oh. half an hour from now. Oh, great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye.